Welcome to the training for the new production scheduling cloud application. This is the ninth out of 12 presentations. Upon completion of this lesson, you will know how to release a schedule to Oracle Manufacturing Cloud and which data elements are updated when doing so. Let's start with the first topic, releasing a production schedule. Towards the end of the scheduling cycle activities, once the scheduler is satisfied with the schedule quality, the schedule is sent back to the execution system. This is done by triggering the schedule release action in production scheduling. Above the schedule views, you find the release schedule action button. After clicking that action button, a small pane with some counts related to walk orders in the model is displayed. These are the total number of walk orders, the number of walk orders starting inside the release horizon, and the number of walk orders starting inside the release horizon that were also changed in production scheduling since last schedule refresh. Now click the release action button on the radar in that pane to send the schedule to Oracle Manufacturing Cloud. The next topic explains what data updates on walk orders are being done in the execution system when releasing the schedule. Before stating what is updated on walk orders, let's review why these updates are needed at the first place. We know that the walk orders in Oracle Manufacturing Cloud drive shop floor execution. In addition, Generating a production schedule is not a self-solving exercise, but has the objective to create the best possible schedule that is then actually executed, ideally in that fashion. Since the scheduling process may change a good portion of the work orders in the schedule, it is necessary to send the production schedule back to manufacturing cloud to have those changes reflected. This is achieved via the schedule release process, which updates the work orders. Now, at schedule release, the following work order data is updated. Both work order header and operation start and end times. The work order operation resource assignment, reflecting possible offloading decisions to alternate resources that the application made and the work order status, which will be set to released if not yet already at that status. In the following demonstration, we look at releasing a schedule back to Oracle Manufacturing Cloud. To demonstrate the schedule release process, let's focus on one specific work order. Right now I'm looking in manufacturing uh, at work orders ending at 6.012, which is scheduled at 12.49 uh, in the afternoon. And it currently is assigned, or that operation is assigned to run on the injection mode two resource. Now let's go into production scheduling. I just ran a schedule refresh, and when I look for this work order, then I can confirm that yes, it is placed exactly where uh, the data requires it to be. It's at 12.49 in the afternoon, and, and it uses injection molding two uh, as its resource. Observe that, um, all these operations over here are overlapping, and this is the result of just having run a schedule refresh, which means the work orders are placed as they are currently defined in manufacturing, and the schedule was not recalculated. Since these resources are relaxed, I'm sorry, they are constrained. The extruder resource is relaxed. After a solve process, I will expect those overlaps to be resolved. Let's quickly uh, 
do that. So I'm starting a solve, which now enforces the constraints. And it will make uh, resequencing and reallocation uh, uh, decisions, allocating work order operations to the resources, to the available alternate resources. And in this case, we can see that this particular work order was now moved from injection molding two to injection molding resource one here. And the times of course changed slightly as well. So now if we think about the scheduling process, if we will go ahead and do a little more analysis to resequencing, uh, to re assignment of operations to different resources uh, to reach a schedule that we then want to publish and uh, update execution with. Then we reach the point where we go to the release schedule action. We see some of these uh, counts and we can trigger the actual release via the release action button here. So now that process has started. This will take another moment. And once it's completed, we will have another look at that work order in manufacturing and confirm that the schedule results are reflected. Tonight completed. Let's go back to the work order in work execution. Let me close this. So now we see the times they already changed. They now reflect the new schedule position. And when we look at the work order operation, it is now also on a different resource. It was offloaded from the injection molding two resource to the injection molding one resource. So in, in summary, the schedule release uh, updates the start and end times on the work order header as well, on the, as well as on the operations. And of course, also the resource assignment uh, for each of the operations when there are alternates. Now to summarize, in this lesson, we learned how to release a schedule from production scheduling. And we also uh, reviewed which data elements exactly are updated uh, on these work orders in Oracle Manufacturing Cloud.